Hey, what's going on, everyone? Last night I posted this episode about about this uh, Christmas tree, and then um, like maybe a few minutes in, I started getting that like a upset comments about it. You know, usually I don't care about it, and I mean, I I leave it the way it is. But then I, I thought about it. Okay, you know, like it's a it's a special time of the year. Pro- uh, probably I was wrong. Uh, in terms of not saying everything about this song because the song is short and it's a kid's song and then and then I was like okay let me take it down let me take it down and and, and call Daria and ask her if she has time in the morning so we can talk a little bit more about this song which basically yes I did and I uh, thank you Daria for uh, no yeah for taking her time <clears throat> to go live with me Let's go and first we're gonna watch that the old part of the episode and then we're gonna move on to that part when I give more details to Daria. So let's dive into that. All right. Dino liked it. He was like, his head was down, and then, like, maybe like the third line, the kids, his ears went up, and he was like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so bingo is gonna be like the the factor, the key factor, or the crucial factor to decide which song is good and which song is not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that comparing to 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 the U.S. version, um, Jingle Bells. Yep, it's about Santa Claus basically on his way dashing through the snow and the reindeer in a one horse open sleigh. So what do you think this one is about? You said you already has you already said it had more to do with New Year's than Christmas, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say more like ushering the new year in with good cheer and, uh, family, love, um, friends, just having, uh, prosperity, you know, well wishes. That's kind of like what I got from it. All right. Actually, it's, it's called, it's about a Christmas tree and the title is a Christmas tree was born in the woods. Oh, wow. Yeah, but then again, what I want to uh, mention here, that in Russia, they do not call it a Christmas tree. They call it just a fir tree. The fir they, tree. Yeah, they don't, there is no, because I think, from what I know, during the Soviet times, they tried to eliminate uh, religion. 
and God in general. So they try to replace Christmas with New Year. That's why it's so big. And that's why they don't say it's like a Christmas tree. They call it just like a fir tree. That's why they don't have Santa Claus. They have they have Grandpa Frost. That's what they call him over this there. This all sounds so familiar. Like I, I yeah. learned this. Uh, um, yeah, it definitely sounds familiar. Yeah, you know. So wow. that 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 that's those uh, uh like a differences. Yeah. yeah, I definitely remember learning um about religion being pushed out. I remember learning that in history yeah. in school. Yeah. And so so that's why I mean, it, but it, keep, to keep it. American, it's about it's about a Christmas tree that you know in the woods, all like all nice and everything, and then a man came and chopped it and <laughs> took it back home. So you know, like oh, that it's so it's so beautiful. But then he came to to the woods for 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 the for for a Christmas tree, you know, for a tree and chopped it down and and and. and <laughs> and took it home it's still yeah. a, a nice story to tell yeah because they took it home. depends depends on how you how you perform like, right you can't yeah. now i'm thinking about it from from an actor point of view that you mm -hmm. can't deliver the same message or the same story in a different uh mood and 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 perception is going to be different I mean, right now it's more yeah. like you know, like it's, uh, a song for the kids, just to to bring uh, to bring that uh, happy, uh, you know, vibes into that. But then again, you can do it like okay, you know, like you can. Oh, there was a a nice, beautiful tree, and then somebody came and basically, you know, killed the tree. You know, it depends on how you. On the interpretation yeah. of it. You're right. Yeah, absolutely yeah. right depending yeah. on the interpretation of it yeah but even still i don't know and i think maybe especially with children's voices the innocence does come out so even just listening to it like it's stuck in my head so da, 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 like it's there yeah. so i just think because well after you gave me the interpretation because yeah. children are singing it yeah. It still gives me a nice cozy feeling. Yeah. And warm feeling. But then the image I had was kids like with candles in their hands caroling in front of somebody's door or yeah. in a theater like yeah. so. But then again, you know how how often you, they they use uh children voice in horror movies even for, uh Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, One, two, two, three, three, is coming three, for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's all well, that's and different. that's and that's and that's why it works because you think like you know the uh, kid's voice got to be something innocent, something naive, something kind, and yeah. then the, the the contrast with uh, with that horror. Yeah. You know, so you that, put on your acting hat and your director's yeah. hat for that. That yeah, I didn't even think about it that way. Even this song depends <laughs> depends in what circumstances you're gonna use or you know, it can it can bring out something bring out something different. I mean some different emotions. Right now it's kinda soothed, you know, like okay, you know, it's a nice song, you know very very comfortable you know but then you just put it in a different circumstances in a different environment and it kind of bring, bring out something very very you know like a pathetic in you <laughs> no that's very true i already told you that the song is about the tree right the, the christmas tree and i told you that the christmas tree was cut down by a man who came to the woods for it to get it right 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 so that's it i didn't give any more details and all i said was that he took it back home right so when you said that i just figured he was a man in the woods took the tree back home well this was my imagination yeah and he took it home for his family like exactly. you know yeah and they decorated it exactly i mean that's why i didn't say anything uh -oh. so it just uh -oh. makes sense 
right? So what you said, you took it home. Yeah. Like why, for what, eating, yeah. Why, because uh, that's what men do around this time for their families. They go find like the biggest tree, the best tree that they can find. Yeah. And then they take it home and then the families decorate it. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, what, what, el what else you, 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 you go in, in the woods to get a, a tree for? around this time of the year of course i mean you you go yeah. there just to 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 decorate it and to make your you know, to make your kids happy yeah no based off of the song itself and you know with children singing it mm -hmm. and the way that it's being sang it's almost like you know how we talked about the song oh christmas tree oh time yes. mom the drums yeah. like that's what comes to mind once you said it was about a tree Yeah. And, you know, not so much the worship of the tree, but just that, you know, a man, it's kind of like with the kids singing it and he's going in the woods, unless it was like a dark movie and he's yeah. going to be mean during Christmas time, like the Grinch. I just <sighs> took it in the, the Grinch. holiday spirit. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you said, the Grinch, and then no, the Grinch. had the Grinch. But yeah, because it's like, you know, the Grinch is mean. He doesn't like Christmas. Yeah. And so, yeah. unless it was like a mean-spirited movie, I, would, I wouldn't, yeah. So, no, when you said it about, you know, the whole tree thing, he cut down the tree, it was just left to my imagination that he went and found the best tree. And you know what's, what's I don't want to say insulting, but to some, to some, To some extent, it is insulting, just a little bit, because people think that I need to break everything down for you, that you're not gonna figure it out on your own. I understand. You know what um, I'm saying? Some things are just as clear as day. I mean, you don't have to break them down. Right. I mean, if you say I, that a man goes to the woods to get a tree and and take it back home, of course he just gotta he take it back for 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 for, the, for his kids. I just watched the movie. Um on what's the movie it's a christmas movie on amazon not on, yeah amazon prime or something and um the men every year in this family movie they go and they go find the biggest tree the best tree that they can find to chop down and bring it home so that women and the children could decorate it yeah Like, that's just their family tradition in this movie yeah. so it was just like when you said it again um I know what you mean when you say insulting, yeah. but I think sometimes people think, you know, sometimes we get caught up that it might only be our culture that does certain yeah. things. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, well, explain it to her, explain it to her, yeah. because they might not do that there. Just, That's to be, how just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna explain a few more lines from, I mean, just to okay. be on the safe side. So, so It basically says that a Christmas tree was born in the woods, and it it was all beautiful and all. Um, that it was green, evergreen all around the year. Mm -hmm. And then the blizzard sang sang it a lullaby. The frost. The frost coated it with the snow so it could stay warm. Mm. And a small like rabbit, a small rabbit, and a, and a gray wolf were, uh, ran by. But then again, one dude, mind you, not you, but du the dude who actually, <laughs> I know, <laughs> actually posted it. He said, "A little wolf, and a nice little wolf, something like that." Then I played it back, and they sing. An angry wolf, not little wolf, but angry wolf. So I was like, "Come on, dude! You asked me to tell to tell you something, but you're right. not right yourself." I mean, I mean, you say nice little wolf, and then I was like, "It's an angry wolf." Then again, we talked about Fred Krueger. Remember last time, like we say, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. this kid. Uh, just to to also, I want to kind of like break it down or explain i don't want to justify myself i just want to explain because i always even right now after a second listen we'll listen to we uh we'll listen to it mm -hmm. one more time 
I was like, okay, well, let me think about what kind of feel it gives me. I want to think about what all what everybody knows. I just want to get you know what I feel. Right. And then again, I remember as a kid when I heard this line about the wolf, it scared me. You know, I in my mind I had some vision and you know, all like, okay, this this like oh, oh it's a, uh, angry wolf. And I was mm -hmm. like, angry wolf. And in my, in my mind, I was like, oh, that's an angry wolf, you right. know, like prowling and everything. I was like, yo, that's good. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Like, and, as part of the story. And then, even now, listening, just already in my mind, the whole vibe from this song, it doesn't sound like a happy song to me. <laughs> I, I don't want to celebrate to this. I mean, like, you know, in terms of like what, what, what kind of music they play. So maybe it's more of a story of like what he has to go through to get to this tree, the dad or the man. Who that's that's what I said because that's what I said. You can look at this, yeah. You can look at this yeah, in two yeah. different angles. I mean, you can look at it either he he went through all this stuff like in, in, you know when it was cold he went in the woods like wolves there you know just to get that tree to make his kids happy. Or you can look at this because it says the the the, the a Christmas tree was born. So the basically the song is about Christmas tree. Though they do say that at the end that the Christmas tree was all nice, was all decorated and make kids happy. So like this is the point of the Christmas tree. But you can look at, at the Christmas tree as a victim. If if you put it, you know, like if you say, okay, the tree was in the okay, woods like and somebody came, yeah. chopped it down and. And took it. I mean, from from the, from its uh, habitat, right? You know, that's true. Like you that's live. True. Imagine somebody comes and and it gets you, and take right. you so, and somewhere you else. Know, like, those are the only trees that never die. Yeah, yeah. Pine trees stay green yes. Yes. all year long, and it's got a lot of actual health benefits to it. Too. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and... it was like, and, and yeah, until once you cut it, then yeah, it's gonna die because you cut it from its root. But absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But that's why they they, they say, that's why they say, um, don't chop them down. Let's do like a a, a fake fake um, yeah, fake tree. Fake. Yeah. So I mean, but still, yes, I understand. I never, first of all, I never liked the song even as a kid. S one. Second, uh, no, it don't give me that that feeling of of, of the holiday. No. And I have a right to have my own vibe, to have my own perception from this song, regardless. Okay, I took my time to break it down for you, so I, I'm good on this, I'm safe on this side. But overall, <laughs> it didn't change my perception of the song anyway. Right. I mean, I don't have a feeling about it. It's exactly what I said. I'm sorry, I just looked out the window and it's really still snowing. Yeah. Like, it's snowing and raining. But yeah. um, I don't really have a... Uh, perception about it I did understand it from the first time you said it but you know to make the fans happy yeah. you broke it down more in depth and you gave me a little bit more of what was going on in the storyline so absolutely it's cool it's yeah. cool so yeah, hopefully I guys I first of all yeah I do appreciate your your, your feedback and sometimes it just make me um, step up you know step up my game and right. and I was like, yeah, okay, let me do that. Because, you know, sometimes <laughs> I get carried away when we talk. Yeah, I get carried away. And we just, like, we start talking about this thing. It was like, then we go to something else. It's like, well, I, right. I totally forgot about what, what I was supposed to be talking about. And then, especially when we do live. I mean, like, oh, yo, let's go move on to the next song. And, 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 yeah. No, yeah. it's cool. It's cool. Look, it's still Christmas. It's still the holiday season. So, yeah. you know. And yeah. you still got time to put it out. Yeah. To and say, then, like, uh, look, guys, I'll put it down. Yeah. So thank thank you everyone and You're hopefully welcome. hopefully you you enjoyed it right now.